all, I'm just going to start by giving you guys an overview of how messy everything is. This all has to be put away. I've organized that box, but i got to take some things out. The drawers are pretty much organized. i just got to add some clothes to it. We have to fold up all the socks, put them all together. I have some bows to hang up because we have a lot of bows. And then this corner is just a whole nother level. We have so much clothes I have to fold and put away and hang up. We have some things to unbox. And that is where the diaper station is going to go. So I have to just clean out those drawers, get them nice and neat, and then add everything to it because they are completely empty right now, but they are dirty and need to just be wiped down. So I'm going to start off by, I think, folding all these clothes and getting the crib empty and put all the clothes away. So starting off, I am folding all the pajamas. I'm going to put them in a drawer and I'm going to put all the zero to three newborn and up to six months together and kind of just go from front to back. The front will be the smaller sizes, the back will be the larger. This way I can organize it that way and anything six months plus will be going in a All the pajamas will be folded the same way. The only thing is if they are smaller, they are folded in thirds. And if they are bigger, I am folding them in fourths. Same thing, whether they have feet or not. Plus, this is basically the KonMari method. I like the way they stand up. It's just easier to see everything. I don't like rolling everything because then you miss items. You don't know what you have. So this, you see directly what you have. And I'll just let you guys enjoy and watch right now. I realized as you can see some of the items do still have tags that is because I have not washed them yet and this way I can see what I have or haven't washed mostly plus if you can return them you usually can return a lot of baby items or sell them so it is good to keep the tags on it that way so either way it's really up to you but I like it that way mostly because I can see what I did or did not wash but I do want to get organized now with everything and everything put away. Sky trying to make me see your stars. The dark gets lonely. Now I see violet, I can feel silence. And the dark's all that I see when your stars are burnt. So now moving on to my onesie draw. This is most items newborn to six months. Just a heads up. If anyone buys you clothes, you get so many three months, so save some room for that. But I'm just folding everything and putting those together, anything up to six months, and just organizing it that way. Newborn in three months is front, and three to six months is back. And originally, I did have pants in the back too. Anything like that, I did keep in the back. That is up to six months. Be my, my sky. And a little tip with the pants, you will see anything that has a matching headband with the pants, I do keep those together if it's a headband that I probably won't use with other outfits. Versus you can do that with the pajamas and the matching hats. I did not because I did not have a lot of room and the hats do take up a little bit more space. But if you have more space, it's definitely good to keep all those items together because then you know it has a matching item to it. And I'm just folding up all the pants like I said and then we will move on to the next draw which will be the six months plus draw which will have all the items whether they are onesies pajamas pants I just kept those all together this way I had all my bigger sizes together and your heart makes no sound I'll find valid in your eyes you'll always be my night sky lastly for clothes or any clothes that look like they can be hung up and I do have these little dividers which are pretty helpful 
and I did use them in the drawers any other sizes to divide the newborn I wish I would make ones for drawers that way too because putting them between the onesies would make your life so much easier so a little tip if anyone's good at inventing things I think that would definitely be a good seller <laughs> All right, so just because of the positioning that it's at, I really can't show you guys, but I'm gonna use this to hang my bows. And I thought 18 was gonna be enough, but I have so many bows, I'm gonna need to buy another one of these. But I just figured I'm gonna stick it on the side of the closet. I'm gonna go on that side though, on the inside, just because that's why I can't shoot, because it's a little tight. And I'll show you guys the after, but these are really handy to hang up bows if you don't have a bow holder. And now it is pretty much just cleanup time for anything on the floor and putting all the socks together and oh my god socks are the most annoying thing because I have all the little plastic pieces you have to cut out make sure they're out of the socks at first I had no socks and I was so worried about it I got so many socks so now I have an abundance which is way too many but I guess that's a good thing right You will see more of this basket, but I am putting any burp cloths and any spit up bibs together. Anything gross like that will go together, used for spit up basically. And in this, I am putting any swaddles together and blankets. This way, everything is pretty much organized, put together, and any Velcro swaddles will be going in a separate basket for sleep. Another little organizing hack is one of those burp cloths and spit up bibs will be going in the feeding basket that will be traveled around the house anywhere that you are not feeding in the room. So keep that together, a little separate one, so you have it in case. Now these drawers are going to be the diapering drawers, anything related to that or medicine. So they just do have to be wiped down because I used to store my makeup. So I'm just giving them a good scrub down and I'm sorry about that little tie hanging on my dress. It's probably annoying anyone who has issues like me. This drawer will be holding all the newborn diapers and I do have some extra size ones that were samples. So I do end up putting those in there and moving those wipes around. As you can see, I do end up moving the drawers around. My initial idea was to use a second drawer for medicine and the first one for diapering, but it ended up being too much space, so I combined it and the first drawer ends up being all medicine and any A and D ointment, an extra wipe, anything like that. So you will see me do that.
on the bottom drawer because I don't need extra wipes that often. You just pull one up. I am putting all the extra wipes down there and they fit so perfectly to a T. It was so satisfying, but that will go on the bottom for storage. And then the second to last drawer will be storing all my pumping needs, anything related to me like that. The pump will be moved around the house, but for now to keep all the accessories, everything will be in there. Virus, we're good to ignore what's around, ignore our expectations, even when we should. Oh, I'll do what's behind and see what will come. And then we will just finish up by putting everything else away that is on the floor and putting everything from the Mamaru back together because everything is washed and ready to go. That red basket is my nurse's basket, so I have to organize that and add some more things to it, but it will be staying in the nursery because it is obviously nursery related. But if you guys have any tips for what to put in the nurse's basket, let me know. I pretty much already have an idea, but any ideas are always appreciated. <laughs> What I've seen is enough and I'm scared to do too much Never had my problems Even when I should look up What's behind and see what will come But no, I might my tongue home and that is everything I'll organize. I hope you guys enjoyed this and it gave you some motivation and ideas. I will just give you an overview of everything all put away. Like I said, this is not exactly how I want it. I need some new baskets and everything, but with the stores just opening, I will get them eventually. But for now, this does the job perfect. <laughs> Thank you.